Uh, okay, hello everybody. It is Party Riolu. Now, I have not played this game in weeks, so I have no clue where I am. I'm pretty sure I have to go see Torkoal at the Hot Springs, but that's my guess. I, I could just talk to Shanks and figure that out, but how do I tell him? I don't remember how to talk to you. Can I just... No? Okay. I don't remember how to... I don't remember how to do it. Uh, there we go. Yeah, from Waterfall Cave. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, well... Funny thing is, I have not played this game in weeks. I last uploaded one of these videos like two weeks ago. But the reality is I haven't played this in like four or five weeks. Because I uploaded those videos two or three weeks after I played. I don't know, I just never had gotten around to it. So, I am lost. I am out of the rhythm over here. And um, I'm hoping to get back into it, you know? I remember I cheated a little bit. <laughs> oh, yes, I did, didn't I? That's why I got all these items. Well, okay. It's not a big mission, so let's just get right into it. I'll get through Waterfall Cave, and then I'll see y'all at the hot spring. For some reason, I feel like I should note this right now. Any, like, super exaggerated scenes, like, uh, groaning or grunting or crying, I'm not gonna, like, read out to its entirety. When it gets super emotional, I'm gonna stop reading and let you guys read the text, because I feel like it's less awkward for me and less awkward for you guys. Also, I'm not really that good at emotional stuff, so... <laughs> the second it gets super emotional, I'm gonna just start... stop talking. Or when it gets really emotional, but, like... <laughs> when Shinx cries or something, like I'm not gonna cry for him. I've played this game a bunch of times and this is my first time basically reading out the dialogue in full, like out loud. Uh, it's awkward, but I feel obligated to give every one of these characters a slightly different voice, even though you guys probably can't detect it. I've, I've tried to give as many unique voices as possible and it's not it's not easy because I have to remember and uh, since I haven't played this game in weeks I'm probably gonna fuck that up I don't know I feel like it's gonna happen I know Shanks has like this this light gay feminine voice that I've given him it, it, it wasn't even purposeful it just kind of happened you know but I, I feel like he would have sort of like this childish voice so that's the voice I gave him and obviously the main character, I feel like the most accurate voice you can give him is your own voice. Like, the like the way I'm speaking right now. I mean, that's, that's my voice. But, um... Uh, I try to give Grovile and Dusknorm more deeper voices because I feel like they're more serious, uh, darker characters. You know, characters with a lot more going on with them than the usual characters. And so I give them more of a, um, a deeper voice to signify importance. But also, I, I can't imagine Grovile having, like, this high pitch of a voice, you know? <laughs> I, I can't really imagine him having the deep voice that I give him either, because I don't even- even that's a little bit too high. And it sounds forced, so... I don't know. I'm not exactly a voice actor, so I can't really... Ooh, gummies. Oh, no, but I have no money. Oh, can't I just steal all your shit and then run? This is ridiculous. And you have a reviver seed. Fuck you. The one time I don't have any money on me. Taking out my anger on Tangela. But, uh, yeah, I just thought you guys should know that about the voices, so... I'll see y'all at the spring. Alright, and Sneasel's not coming in, I guess, because... Or, Weevil's not coming in, I guess, because it's a nice type? I don't know. The hot spring here is good for loosening up knotted muscles. The way I keep my arms raised all the time, it has a number on my shoulders. I'm lucky the hot spring exists. You have your arms up even now. What the fuck? I'm usually hot-headed, but when I come here, I calm right down. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
and my young friends. Come to wash away your exhaustion? Oh, not so. I see. You seek my wisdom. Well, there's no better place than this to share your story. Uh huh. Ah, I see. The Hidden Land, you say? I have heard of it. Oh, really? The Hidden Land is a is a, truly a place of legend. It is tattered lore at best, handed down by oral tradition. No matter, please tell us. Of course. I can tell you only what I have heard. The Hidden Land lies beyond the sea. In a hidden place, so the story goes. A hidden place? Yes. The Hidden Land only allows or allows only the Chosen to find it. To go there, one must possess certain qualities. Oh, a place that only someone with proper qualifications can go to. Okay, Torkoal. What are those qualifications? They are... Hmm... Uh... Now, what were they? I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. Oh no, you forgotten? Please, Torkoal, please remember. This is really important. That's easy for you to say, but... Ugh. Um... Oh, that's it. You need proof. You needed proof of some sort. Yes, that was it. Proof. Proof? What kind of proof? That would be... Mm -hmm. Um... Forgive me. I've forgotten again. What?! You can't remember! I'm sorry to disappoint you. Ugh, alright. Can you recall anything else at all? No, that's all. Forgive me, youngsters. If I recall what proof you need, I'll be sure to let you know. Yeah, please. Thank you, Torkoal. We should get back to the guild, Cairo. So Torkoal couldn't provide us with many answers. That's too bad. Oh, that's not entirely true. We know that we need proof, and knowing that is a step forward. Right? Hey, hey, we're searching too. Yeah, but we didn't find anything. But there's no giving up. We have to keep trying, by golly. I'll keep trying too. We should have dinner and rest up for the night. We'll resume our efforts tomorrow. Oh, well... Thanks, everyone. Hmm. I really hope the volume control is okay. I don't know if I'm being louder or quieter than last time. <sighs> We're not making much as progress as we hoped. Or as much progress. <laughs> I, I completely butchered that. Again. When we talked with Torkoal, I started thinking we had a hope. I wonder how Grovile is doing. Has he gathered the time gears? We need to hurry, too. But there's no point in getting all flustered. Especially since everyone's helping out. We should get some sleep. Then start with fresh resolve tomorrow. Okay, Cairo. Good night. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, Cairo. I have not read that in a while. I don't need to save, because that's not how that works here. Ahem. So in short, the Hidden Land remained shrouded in mystery. But well, we're not giving up. Hooray! <laughs> Let's get out there and investigate again today. Let's go, everyone. Again, hooray. Where should we go to investigate today, Cairo? We've already talked to Torkoal. We're out of leads. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint belongs to Torkoal, the town elder. The footprint belongs to Torkoal, the town elder. What? Torkoal is here? Oh. Oh. Finally, I caught up with you. Climbing up to this guild is hard on these old bones. What brings you here, Torkoal? Did you maybe remember anything? Indeed I did, but I've recalled only one more tiny thing, sorry to say. 
Yesterday I contemplated the waters of the hot spring for a long time. Finally, one recollection surfaced. But it really is something small. I worry if it would even be worthwhile sharing with you. Not a worry. Every little bit of information helps, however small. Please say it, say it. When we spoke of travel to the Hidden Land yesterday, I said that you needed proof of your qualification to go there. I remembered a bit more about that proof. The proof. There's an inscription of a certain pattern. A certain pattern? Hey, hey, so what kind of pattern would that be? Um, uh, how could I describe it? It's difficult to describe it, but I can tell you the pattern is quite intricate and odd. It's a peculiar pattern, the kind of pattern you rarely see. A pattern you rarely see. Golly. You think I could... You, you'd think I could think of something. But trying to think of such a thing, it's not easy when one tries. Hmm, what could it be? The kind of pattern you rarely see. What could a pattern like that look like? A pattern you rarely see. A peculiar... Wait a second. A peculiar pattern. A peculiar pattern. I remember that time. So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but take a closer look. Mm. See? That inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? Mm. It's true. There is a strange ins inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. That's it. The relic fragment was inscribed with a peculiar pattern. Hmm? What is it, Cairo? What? My relic fragment? Oh, right. That pattern. Excuse me. Could you ever look at this? Oh! <laughs> this is it? It's a pattern exactly like this? What? Where, where did you get this? Well, I'm not sure if I can remember. I just happened to pick it up. Mm. Yippee! This is fabulous! Since Shinx has this, does it mean that Shinx is qualified to go to the Hidden Land? That I wouldn't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. To go to the Hidden Land, what, one must surely possess that proof. But that doesn't n uh, necessarily mean that the bearer of the proof really possesses the qualifications to be chosen. That proof may merely be the physical key to the Hidden Land. Even before that, though, this shares the same inscribed pattern. There's no sure connection between this relic fragment and the Hidden Land. Oh, but... There's no question that this pattern has something to do with the Hidden Land. Knowing only that is a lot. I suppose so. Wait, you do realize that the Hidden Land is only a spoken legend, right? You're surely not trying to find the Hidden Land. Yes, we are. My goodness, what a surprise. Chatot, this pattern, we've seen this somewhere, haven't we? What? Yes, it's the sea inlet to the northwest, inside Brine Cave. But Guildmaster, that place! Yes, I know, that vicious bandit was there. Vicious... bandit? By golly. Everyone, please listen. I once saw this pattern deep inside a place called Brine Cave. I think we can discover more by taking the Relic Fragment there. However, there is one problem. A Pokemon lurks there who's a vicious bandit. Hey, hey, we're not about to let that scare us. Aren't we explorers? We all need to be brave. Thanks, everyone. But that place is challenging. Everyone should take time today to get ready. We'll set off for Brian Cave tomorrow. Oh, I thought the Hidden Land was nothing more than folklore. Getting old has made my thinking so inflexible, it's very sad. This all makes me remember the days when I dreamt of romance and adventure. Help me see my dreams again. Do your best. Yeah, you can count on us. Thank you, Torkoal. Oh, it was nothing. Alright, everyone. Spend the rest of today getting ready. Okay, dismissed. I seriously need more Reviver Seeds. Like, I really need more. 
I'm gonna need them come late game. Even post game. Post game is super important. Chitot, you stay at the guild tomorrow on standby. Guildmaster! Forgive me if I'm out of line, but please let me go to Brian Cave. Nope, I can't let you face danger like that ever again. But that's why! That's why I must go. Please take me to Brian Cave. Okay, then I want you to go with Team Shockblaze tomorrow. Guide Kairos team to the place where we saw that strange pattern. But I want you to be careful. Thank you, I won't let you down. Another thing, I have something I need to do, so I have to go out. You're in charge while I'm gone. As you wish. So that's where it stands. You two will be with me tomorrow. As such, Team Shockblaze's non-guild members may not come alone. Brian Cave is a vicious foe lying in wait. You mustn't let down your guard. And don't do anything that keeps me from succeeding there. Okay. Cairo, let's go get ready. Let's go to Treasure Town. I'm thinking I hear something. <laughs> it's like pitch black in my room because it's like 7, 8 o'clock right now. But I don't know. I can't confirm it. Oh, to be young again. If I was younger, I'd certainly join the challenge to find the hidden land. <laughs> oh, hold it there, old timer. <laughs> Who is it? What is it? What do you want? Well, we're Team Skull. Do you have any business with Wigglytuff's guild, old timer? I overheard you say something that sounded fun. Something about the hidden land. I... I was only... Uh, someone's coming. Guild chumps. Old timer. Why don't we take this chat somewhere we won't be disturbed? Hey! Okay, well that's not good. We all know that's not good. I wanted Weavile to come along because I wanted it to level up. It's kind of a pain in the ass doing that anyway, so... <sighs> okay, well, I better have a lot of money in that bank because I have been getting money like you would not believe. Damn right. I'm gonna take 6,000. I know, that's pretty bold. I understand that. But there's also stuff at the shop that I'm gonna need to buy. I I know there's probably gonna be reviver seeds and shit like that. There's probably an egg down there that I never took. <laughs> um... Yeah, see? There's shit that I need down here. Max Elixir included. I really want Shakestorm Discharge. Brine, Energy Ball, Frustration, Giga Impact. Worthless, worthless, and worthless. Do I have any boxes? No. I'm going to keep one Reviver Seed just in case. Um, look, I don't know if I'm going to need that many Reviver Seeds actually, you know, for late game and post late game, um, because of the save state mechanic that I get to use with Des uh, Desmume. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but um, the save state mechanic makes it super easy to go back and unfuck everything I've fucked. So, if I really screw up, then I can just rewind it if I save that in the appropriate space. I mean, that's kind of how you do it in this game, too. You can just soft reset back to your previous save point. So, <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, with this, you can do it at a drop of a hat. You don't have to turn off the game or anything. It's just one button. Or a few buttons. And there you go. So it's a lot less tedious. But you can also do a safe state anywhere in the game. Like, legit anywhere. During a boss fight, anything. So, in a way, it's almost cheating. 
but I guess in this for this reason I won't need to do save states but it's up to you it's up to the player when you put a save state so if you don't put one in a good spot you could lose everything <sighs> fuck right, let's sort my shit what do I need and what do I not need I think one max elixir is good or two is good enough Two berries is fine. An apple and a big apple is okay. And I don't need these special bands taking up space in my inventory. I definitely don't need the Geo Pebble either. Let's see what I've gotten here though. I haven't, I haven't exactly been in here in a while. So many unique items. Jesus, so many orbs too. I've already got one third of my storage taken up, that's crazy. Man, oh man. Got a lot of good TMs already too. That's not good though. I, I have... Um, this is a fake reviver sheet down here, but I have what looks to be seven reviver seeds. No, six reviver seeds. That's not very many. I've been trying to save up all game, but I keep fucking losing them. It's goddamn ridiculous. Well, I guess I prepared as much as I can. I've given up reading, trying to read all the dialogue. Um, in Treasure Town. There's just so much and it constantly changes. I don't think I'm gonna be- I would be able to do it. Oh, right, Cairo. We should go over to Sharpedo Bluff before we go back to the guild. Just in case Grove Isles come back. Let's go check out Sharpedo Bluff, Cairo. Do you like repeating yourself, Shanks? Another awkward thing. Is that Shanks' uh, Shanks's nickname? I really should have given him a nickname because now when he's a luxury, it's still gonna be Shanks. That's gonna be fucking weird. Or maybe it'll ask me to give him a nickname, I'm pretty sure. So maybe actually I can change that. Is Groval back, I wonder? Let's go. Grovile isn't here. Hey, over there. There's a sheet of paper. There's something written on it in footprint runes. Oh boy. This is a letter from Grovile. Must be a message for us. I'll read it. Mm. Shinks began reading the letter from Grovile. To Cairo and Shinks. How are you doing? How goes your search for the hidden land? Things are going well on my end. I've already collected three time gears. I have to find only two more time gears. I plan to join you when I've collected all five. Plans have proceeded smoothly. Azelf and his friends understood the situation, and they have fully cooperated. Azelf told me that members of your guild let them know I was coming. Thank you. It's heartening to know that more and more Pokemon are coming to trust us. However, I will continue to stay away from Treasure Town and the guild. First, I'm not certain if the Pokemon in this world trust me entirely or not. But there's something more troubling than that. Dusknor is liable to return from the future at any time. Dusknor? Come to think of it, Dusknor failed to get rid of us in the future. I wouldn't put it past us to chase us or past him to chase us here. He still wants us gone. Okay, I'll keep reading. Since Dusknor will be coming, we should keep a low profile. This is another reason I should stay away from Treasure Town and the Guild. I may instead come back to Sharpedo Bluff, or the beach. If we should meet, we can then exchange information. Good luck on your end. Together, we shall stop the planet's paralysis. From Grovile. Okay, it sounds like Grovile is hard at work. We'd better not fail on our end. According to this letter, Grovile will show up either here or at the beach. 
If we go down to the beach, maybe we will see Grovile there. We should go down to the beach before we go back to the guild. Okay. Doing Gro doing that because Grovile's voice is easily going to be the deepest that I'll that I'll be doing in this entire series. So, <laughs> but it hurts. It hurts to do it that deep. I'm because my voice is not that deep. I it's, I'm fucking my throat up. Chapter eighteen, Lapras. I was hoping to see Grovile here. No, he's not here after all. Speaking of not being here, the Krabby aren't here either. They always come out here in the evening to blow bubbles. I love seeing their bubbles go floating away in the evening sky. Well, that's too bad. It's a letdown, but... Look, Cairo. The sunset's beautiful, like it always is. You know. It was my dream to solve the secret of my relic fragment, but I would never would have guessed that the relic fragment was connected to the hidden land. That reminds me. It was here, wasn't it? Where coughing and his sidekick stole my relic fragment? I remember. I was too scared to get it back. You gave me courage then, Cairo. You know, that was how we really started as a team. Getting back this relic fragment was Team Shockblaze's first adventure. And now we're using the same relic fragment so we can go to the Hidden Land. If you think about it, it's kind of strange. That's true. My adventures with Shanks and searching for the Hidden Land. The relic fragment was the start of both. This beautiful sunset, it will be lost if the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. We have to stop that. We can't waste any time finding the hidden land. We have to do good tomorrow, Cairo. That's right. We have to try hard. I must fulfill the mission that I had before losing my memory. A mission with Grovile. A mission to help the Pokemon of this world and those of the future. What? Hey, Cairo. That... What is that? And I have my thumbnail. <laughs> That's a good shot, too. I've got my thumbnail. What could it be? It looks like it's swimming across the sunset. I think it's a Pokemon. Well, that's a little strange. The sun's almost gone. We should go back to the guild soon. The Krabby weren't around for a good reason. They ran off, scared of us. But Chief, that old timer Torkoal wasn't lying to us after all. <laughs> that junk we stole back then. I didn't know it was going to be something that valuable. So what? We'll get the relic fragment from them one, one way or another. That means the hidden land is going to be explored by another than us, Team Skull. Oh, that's a good thumbnail, too. Fuck. And that, too. Damn it. Uh, so many good thumbnail choices. Lapras. Long time no see. It's been too long, Wiggly Tough. You look well. Is Chatot doing well, too? 
Yes, very well. I'm glad to hear that. I've always meant to thank you. I deeply appreciate the promise you made and upheld for all this time. No problem, no big deal. But today, I'm here to see you about that promise. We find ourselves in a situation where we can't afford to uphold that promise. I suspect that you know why. So please tell me about that strange pattern we once saw. They told me to, pre to prepare, but I didn't know I was going to be coming straight back to the guild. Ahem, <clears throat> so as you're all quite aware, the guildmaster has not yet returned from his errand. However, I intend to set off for Brian Cave as scheduled. Hey hey, where'd guildmaster go anyway? Um, I wouldn't know that. Is it going to be okay without the guildmaster? No problem, there's no need for your concern at all. Guildmaster must have decided that we can manage on our own without him for the time being. That's why he hasn't come back yet. Furthermore, in place of your absent, er, our absent Guildmaster, you have me to lead you. Insert crickets. <laughs> You're spineless! Um, why isn't anyone saying anything? It, it can't be! Do you all think that I'm not up to the task? Everyone out with it! Am I perhaps... perhaps... inadequate? Worthless to you? Uh, nope. I wouldn't say that. My Guildmaster isn't here, it just feels less safe. Hey, hey, you know, the Guildmaster, he's hard to figure out, but hey, hey, he really comes through when things get rough. But the Guildmaster isn't with us right now, so we have to take charge and do as he wanted. That's right. I'm sure that we can get the job done on our own. Let's go for it. On our own. You're right. We can't count on the Guildmaster for everything. Oh yes, that's the spirit. Let's do our best. Chatot. The Guildmaster is absent. So there's only one among us who can lead. And that's you, Chatot. Huh? Who? Me? Y you were literally just saying... You, know, you were literally just going on about how you're you're going to take charge, but... You know what? Of course, you said so earlier. You said that we'll be fine because you're here to lead us. Lead the way. Show us, Chatot. That's right. Show us, Chatot. Hey, hey. Yep, yep. I'm counting on you. Well, everyone, you can always count on me when things are this bad. What's the matter, Chatot? It's on the call to duty already. I know, I know. Now, we shall depart on the guild exploration of Brine Cave. Everyone, let us excel together. Yay! Oh, wait, no, what? No, 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 okay. Bitch. They did tell me I, I probably should have prepared. Fuck. I didn't, I did not. This is the entrance to Brine Cave. Your objective is to reach the deepest part of this dungeon. That is where one will find the same odd pattern inscribed on the relic fragment that Shanks has. However, it is there where an extremely vicious Pokemon lurks. Extremely vicious? Golly, that sounds scary. Hey, hey, Chata! What is it? Yesterday, Guildmaster said something about that vicious Pokemon. But Chata, you seem to know just as much about this dungeon. Hey, hey! Chata, is it possible that you've been here before? That's right. I have come here before. I explored here a long time ago, with the Guildmaster. It was deep in this cave that we saw the peculiar pattern. It was then, however, those tough Pokémon appeared. S so what were they like? Tough, you say? Um, I don't remember at all. Huh? You don't remember? Yes, but I'm loath to admit it. They attacked with no warning, out of nowhere. I was knocked out before I could do a thing. When I came to, the Guildmaster was tending to my wounds. But I had no memory of events before that. So I couldn't tell you what the attackers were like. <sighs> that gives us nothing to go on. So we don't know the kind of enemy we're facing? We'll have to make our way very slowly. Wait a second. Hey, Chaton. 
At first you said you were, there was one vicious Pokemon, but then you said they attacked you. There's more than one? No, it wasn't just one. There was an, one extremely vicious Pokemon, but it wasn't alone. When they attacked. Oh, I remember now. They attacked all at once. I recall getting slammed with water. Like a tidal wave. Like a tidal wave? That could mean water type moves. Or a ground type. We don't like water at all. I hope we don't have to fight enemies like that. It would be awfully dangerous to make a go of it alone. That's right. We should make several groups to explore that cave. Oh yeah, I'm a water type. That's not good. Jesus. Or a fire type. <laughs> which is worse. They're both... The, the enemies that attack us are both rock and water, which I'm both weak to. Ugh. Hey, hey, we should form teams that don't bunch up types. You two. Remember what the Guildmaster said yesterday. The two members from Team Shockblaze must be in my group. Therefore, you two shall accompany me when exploring this cave. Understood? I trust you won't hold me up too much? Oh, you must not expect me to do everything for you. It's up to you to look after yourselves. Ugh, understood. Even though I can do better than you. <laughs> Alright, everyone. We're off to conquer Brine Cave. Let's give it our all. Hooray! Something along those lines. <laughs> Chief, looks like those lads from the guild are already inside. Whoa! Should we follow them? Sounds good. We'll track them, but let's keep out of sight. When the right time comes along somewhere in the cave, that's when we'll grab that wimpy Shinx's relic fragment. Then we'll hightail it to the deepest part of the cave. We'll grab all the glory solving this mystery. Brilliant, Chief! Your plan's perfect. Naturally. Anyway, it'll be us, Team Skull. We'll be the ones going to the hidden land. Oh, we're all basically the same in terms of level. That's a good sign. And Shanks has only a little bit less health than uh, Chatot. Speaking of health, though, <laughs> you guys are kind of behind. You know, I've I've been lifting my weights. I've been, you know, eating my Wheaties. Stuff like that. Yeah, it's, just, it's just the way it is, you know? So naturally, the Pokemon of Brian Cave are actually kind of competent. They, um, they are strong to a certain degree. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done that, too. Of course, that Gastrodon just got fucked in less than 70 health, so... Maybe they're not as competent as I give them credit for. I love the music. I'm already on the sixth floor, though. What the fuck? It's been like a minute. What the hell? I think that's, that's what I'll do. I'll eat the wide seed for, or the violent seed that I have in my inventory first. At least I think I do. I think I have one, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. So I'll eat that first, and then I should be fine. Wide slash will be my savior because there's three opponents. Uh, <laughs> Flamethrower still does a heavy amount of damage. Alright, if there's a Kecleon shop, I'm going shopping, bitches. Oh, I forgot to do a save state. Hold on. Save, save state. We're on save state number 24. It would have been more legal to do it. Jesus, chat hot! I know I saw the stairs, but I've been going through the stairs way too quickly. It's actually kind of nuts. Ow. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I didn't know they have that move. I didn't know they had that move. Oh, God. I didn't know that move was in this game. 
I forgot. <sighs> okay, so watch out for Dugong and Sheer Cold. Ow. Bitch. You lowered my accuracy and I still fucked you up. With a move that isn't very accurate at all. I thought for a second we were in a um, monster house. That wouldn't have been fun. I think I, yeah, I'm good on space for a little while longer. As for time, we're kind of behind, but I don't know, I think we'll be okay. Chat hot? Chat hot? This is not the time. Attack, you mother... Fucker? Jesus! Are you... Are you stupid? I'm gonna lose all my orange berries. Okay. Oh my god. Chatot, why? We've gone pretty far down. Hey, Chatot. Are we nearing the place where we... Where you saw that pattern? We're nearly there. We don't have far to go. However... As I've told you before, every step also takes us closer to those vicious Pokemon. Yes, and we'll have to stay careful and keep our eyes open. Anyway, we don't have far to go now. Let's keep it up, Cairo. Ow! Whoops, excuse me! Hey! Oh, long time, weaklings. Oh, you're that nice team, eh? This is it, the relic fragment. That. I'll take this. Hey! This is the second time you're getting mugged for this. You don't learn very well, that's for sure. Wait, wait, please. I'm afraid I'm not following what's going on here. Why are you even here? We haven't seen any of you from Team School since you suddenly disappeared during the expedition. I fretted for your well-being. Worried, huh? Your guild's full of gullible, gullible nincompoops just waiting to be fleeced. Oh, oh, your demeanor and language seem to be much coarser now. Chatot, they were deceiving the guild all this time. They're a bad exploration team. Team Skull's a bunch of crooks. Wh what? Is this true? It's so funny how now you listen to him. Whoa, what else? You'd have to be naive beyond belief to be fooled this long. Anyway, now we've got the relic fragment. Now we just have to go to the hidden land. Eat your heart out, nitwits. Those stinking scoundrels play me for a fool, will they? They won't get away with this. I'll show them what it means to trifle with me. Although I think it's pronounced trifle, but whatever. Wait, Chatot. He's gone. Chatot was sure furious. I hope he'll be okay. After all, there are those vicious Pokemon he'd warned us about lurking ahead. Not just that, we still need to recover my relic fragment from Skuntank. We should hurry, too. Alright. I love the soundtrack. I love it. I love it. I can't get enough of it. Well, I guess we're exposed to the really competent Pokemon now. Slow or rebound or useless. Every single time, every single time, I think it's gonna be maybe, maybe it won't be a useless orb, and then it ends up being useless. 
Like, 90% of the orbs in this game are just actual garbage. <gasps> Driver seat. Dragonair, where are you? No, I'm not going to that to those stairs without Dragonair. No, that bitch is coming to me. Where'd you go? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's not the correct Dragonair. Fuck. Walren. Oh, shit. Okay. I can't land a decisive blow unless I get a critical hit, so all of these hits are going to be two hit KOs. That's not good. Oh, wow, never mind. <laughs> okay. <gasps> no, 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 Jinx. Hold on, hold on. Jinx, hold on a sec. Hold the fuck on. Oh my god. Check IQ. Oh, Jesus Christ, I was so close. <laughs> I didn't want the reviver seed to fall into the water because I wasn't going to be able to get it if, if he knocked him out. All right. Oh yeah, I probably should go back to the stairs now, huh? No use walking around anymore. Doo -doo -doo. It's such a very laid-back theme. Like, I don't know, it just... It fits, and yet it, it feels like it's missing something, but with good reason. I will fuck your mother! Alright, I have got, like, what? Two pure seeds? Yes, I know Dank Pies. I understand I should be role-playing with you right now, but I'm not. Shut up. Kill yourself. I'm too busy recording. First part's taking longer than expected, okay? Yeah, I was gonna record three of these today, but that's not happening. So I guess I'm only getting one out of the way. I'll record the next two tomorrow and then upload them like three weeks from now. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. I'll upload them. I'll upload them as soon as possible. We haven't chat up. To, uh, we haven't caught up to chat. <laughs> I read that so wrong. We haven't caught up to chat, Todd or Team Skull yet. And Rossi is barking. If you guys can hear it, maybe you can. Maybe you can't. This place. It's horribly hot and humid in here. Ugh. Hey, I heard a voice over there. Let's go, Cairo. Wow, it's Team Skull. Mm. What happened to you guys? Oh, no way. Were you attacked by a mysterious gang of enemies? You knew who was coming. Would have been good to know that. Not that you'd tell us. Gun tank, are you alright? You find us at your mercy, and you're worried of how we are? How sickeningly generous you nitwits can be. We're not about to walk away from anyone if they're hurt. Your concern's wasted on us, we'll be fine. That pompous Chatot. He riled me up enough to keep me going. Huh? Chatot did what? Here's what he did. That Chatot came along after we got wiped out, when he spotted us down and out. He scolded us with all sorts of choice words. After giving us that blistering tongue lashing, he went on his way. Things he said about us, I'm still seeing red. I'm so steaming mad that when I that I refuse to give up here. I'm getting out of here if I have to crawl, so I can deliver my payback to that blasted chat on. But if you think about it, we were close to giving up when that chat on saved us by riling us up. But even though you say you've been saved, you look like you're still in a lot of pain. 
We've been bad to you two all this time. You went through downright rotten times because of us. But you two can still bring yourselves to worry about the likes of us. Yeah. You did make us furious over this and that. But when we see you down and out like this, we can't just walk away. Hey, the relic fragment! Oops. How unlike me. That relic fragment slipped out of my grip. And I can't move yet. That Shanks is gonna steal it back. Skuntank. I only dropped the relic fragment by accident. You're free to pick it up. Or not. Skuntank, thanks. <laughs> Why thank me? Next time we meet, we're going back to our old tricks of messing with you. Besides, don't waste your time worrying about us. You should be worrying about Chatot instead. That's right! Where did Chatot go? He went deeper. He's going after those enemies. You two hurry up and go too. Thanks, Skuntank. We're going in deeper after them. Be sure to give your team out. Don't give up. <laughs> I'll ask you not to patronize Team Skull. We have to go, Cairo. Oh, there's gnats in front of my computer. You too. Can you move? You can't be serious. The way they trounced us, I'm just too wiped out. So that's it. Well, we must really look like a mess. But Chief, I like how you kept it to yourself until the very end. That you're a little bit of a good guy. You redeemed yourself. Shut it. But I gotta say, Chief, there's something good- There's something to be said about you doing that. Shut up. Hey, Chatot! You too. Be alert. They're very close by. I saw the retreating figures when I gave chase. But I'd lost sight of them by the time I reached this spot. They must be lurking here somewhere. But there doesn't appear to be any place to hide here. What is this? An odd sense of foreboding? There only appear to be these rock walls around us. That one glance I caught of them. I'm on the verge of remembering. That's it! When they attacked me last time, they seemed to appear out of nowhere. But where they really appeared from was... Another good thumbnail! What the fuck? Shinx! Cairo! Be careful! They're above us! What? What? I am Kabutops. And the Omastar Brothers. All trespassers need to be taught a lesson. Take that! Ch chat hot What? I won't let you get away with this. How do you like that? That hero shielded his buddies with his body. That's not what I'd call smart. Hey, I remember. Kabutops! That big hero has been here before. We knocked him out the same way, too. This is the second time he's done that? <laughs> that really takes a whole lot of smarts. <laughs> Say what you will. They're our prized recruits. I won't let you harm them. Chatot. Chatot! <laughs> it's your turn next. Take this! And it's time to ruin some people. Okay, so as I said, um, this first, and hopefully I survive the first wave. If I don't, I can't do anything about that. Uh, Shinx, I hope you help me here. <clears throat> there you go. Oh, no. <laughs> That's nice. Alright. Time to make... I want to see how much Lava Plume does first. <laughs> Damn! Alright, now Wide Slash. Yeah, Wide Slash is better. For this, anyway. And thankfully, it can hit Ghost-type Pokemon, too, because um, it's a... Uh, it does this move doesn't have a type, which is interesting. Yeah. Mm. 
Ah! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Chatot! How, and let me just ask, how did Chatot get all the way over there? Just, just, just a question. Relevant question. Chatot, are you alright? Stay with us. Chatot. That voice. Guildmaster. Wigglytuff. And Grovile, too. Guildmaster. Ah, Grovile. What is Grovile doing with the Guildmaster? I'll explain later. This is more important. Chatot. Hey, hey, this is bad. Chatot is down. Golly, he's hurt. Chatot, are you okay? Are you hurt? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm hale and hearty, as you can see. Chatot. I'm sorry, Chatot. If only I got here earlier. Please don't blame yourself, Guildmaster. But this is so humiliating. To be knocked out by the same enemies again. It isn't true, Chatot. The last time we came here, you were knocked out right away, Chatot. So you probably don't remember this, but that time, when Kabutop's gang sprang out at us, you shielded me from the attack, Chatot. Excuse me? I sent Kabutop's gang packing right after that. If it weren't for you jumping out to shield me, Chatot, I would have been knocked out on the spot. I owe my life to Chatot. That's... what happened? Chatot, you are my invaluable partner. I... I am privileged to hear such world words, Guildmaster. I'm such a happy Pokemon. Whoa, Chatot! Everyone stay calm. Yes, he'll live. He still has time. Get him back to the guild now. Well then, quick, let's let's all go back to the guild. No. We'll take Chatot back to the guild. But as for you, Cairo and Shanks, and you, Grovile, you three must keep going. But don't worry about it. Besides, if you don't go on from here, Chatot's shielding you will have been for nothing. Mm. Strange pattern is up ahead. Now hurry. Thanks, Wigglytuff. We will continue onward. Let's go, Shinx, Cairo. Okay. Let's go, Cairo. Good luck. Find the hidden land. Grovile, how'd you know to join us here? Wigglytuff brought me. What? Wigglytuff did? That's right. Wigglytuff had been looking for me. As soon as he found me, he asked me to go with him. He said you were close to finding the hidden land. It worked out fine, because I planned to join you anyway. Planned to join us? Wait, does that mean... That's right. I've collected all the necessary time gears. Yes! All we have to do now is get to the hidden land. Fucking mosquito. I don't know if that's a mosquito or a gnat, but it's annoying the shit out of me. So let's find that place with the strange pattern. Wow! There's water here! Hold on, this is seawater! Look at that, Cairo! The cave's mouth opens wide to the sea. We couldn't see it from outside because it's in the shadows. It's true. The sea is visible beyond the rock walls. It's nearly evening. We didn't notice the time go by. The tide rises up to here from the gap in the walls. Oh. That's... What, Kyra? What's wrong? Hey, look at this! This is the same as the pattern on my relic fragment. I guess it's the same pattern that Chatot described. Let me bring up my relic fragment. Let me see how much we're up to. I really hope we're not past a gigabyte. Oh wow, really, really small. We're at 561 megabytes right now. Hey, the relic fragment. Wow, the pattern on the wall is glowing now. It's as if it's reacting to the relic fragment. Wah!
What? What was that? A beam of light shot out to the sea. What's that out there? What? That's... It's coming closer. It's swimming. Shinx, Cairo, and Grovile, correct? You know our names? Yes, I was informed by Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff told you? That pattern on the wall shot a beam of light across the sea. You appeared right after that. Can you tell me who you are? I'm Lapras. I'm the guide to the Hidden Land. You're what? You would take us to the Hidden Land? You unleashed a beam of light from the pattern on the wall. That is the signal for gaining entry to the Hidden Land. It is beyond the sea. Step onto my back. I will carry you across the sea. Don't be afraid. I'm exceptional. I can carry you all and more on my back. It's beyond the sea, the Hidden Land. Cairo! Shinx! Let's go! Beyond the sea! Sometimes I can't do it as deep as I want to, and it ends up being a lot higher. <laughs> eh. Fucking gnats! Um, anyway, I'm going to end it here. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and uh, I will see you all for the next one. Peace.